I'm excited. Luba has made it here. So what I'm going to do is do an unpacking and we'll see what we got in the box. Welcome to No Dog Licks channel. Alright, so we're going to take Luba and put her on this table and see what we can do as far as getting it unboxed. You know, now that I got it here, just wondering, is this going to work out very good? I do have this cart underneath here, so I just might put everything on the cart and take it from there. So, here we go. I had to get some tools so we'd be able to get this open. The weight was 74 pounds and give or take a little one. But Probably using a razor knife would have been a little bit easier, but this will do for what I'm trying to do right now. All right, what we've got first thing on top is that rubber mat that they give you. Uh, this is for Luba to turn around on, on the grass, so it doesn't rip the grass up. Next on top is an owner's manual. There's a phone section here. Uh, accessory kit C. Not quite sure what this one is. I'll we'll have to open it up. Oh, it's the antenna to the RTK.
the front bumper. All nicely wrapped up. With some cardboard on top to keep everything tearing up the. This is what packed pretty well. You got the two poles for the RTK. And the RTK unit. I believe that's what it's called. Let's see, product, RTK. Wrapped in plastic, sold up pretty good. The two orange plugs, one's a spare. Accessory kit A. Accessory kit B. We'll go through those a little later. Another very good foam for protecting Luba. Some of these packets for getting rid of moisture. I like to keep these because I had bought a uh, 3D printer and uh, the element that I use to print with, it, it does absorb moisture. So I had bought a fruit dehydrator and I cut out the bottom parts of the trays so I can put my uh, filament in there and, the and I also throw these in there. So when I get done drying out the filament, I can throw these into a plastic bag with the filament and that keeps everything dry for a longer time. All right, we're getting down to Luba now. Uh, this is going to take a little bit of doing. She's, she's a beast to get out, but I don't want to break anything. So, let's see what we can do here to maybe put her on the ground and do this some other way to get her up on the table. I'm going to turn you off while I go get a, another table. decided just to use what's nearby. And since I do have this, these skids in here, I threw something on top. Uh, Put everything on top of them. All right, now I got this table I can use to put Luba on. Now we'll help unbox. Let's see how you're doing here. All right. Now, I just got to find a good way to pick her up.
All right. Next in here is the charging station. And last but not least, just some foam on the bottom. Where to the wise? Do not throw out anything. Uh, matter of fact, I probably should have took pictures how this thing came apart. But you are my camera, so I can't do that right now. <laughs> in any case, like I said, do not throw anything away. Ah, that was good. Happy I checked there. Nothing in these holes. Nope. This is used with your RTK to mount it to the pole. The charging station. good to keep your box. One of the reasons is if, uh, if it, when it makes its two-year uh, warranty limit and you need maybe to send it off to the service center to get repaired, you'll have a box to send in. Believe me, you would rather send it in this than to uh, try to make your own box. That, this is a lot of weight and how it will, uh, how you'll contain it is very difficult. So, I was kind of hoping this would have been one of the brand spanking new ones with those fancy wheels they show on the front. But no, it looks like standard brand. So, there we have it. A short break there so I can readjust the camera and get you some better images. Um, this is underneath. Top view. not so bad once it's out of the box. It's just lifting it out of the box is a little bit difficult. Alright. So on front you have your Sonic 
ultrasonic uh, um, for to find if there's something in front of it or dogs running up to it, kids running up to it. Uh, you have your start, your mow, your home, and well, okay, this is the power on. Power on, mow, home, and start. So, uh, and of course, the off, stop, if you need to do an emergency stop. Uh, the two little things on the front, here is your rain sensor. Got a little puddle where it can puddle, and uh, so measure the rain. Uh, this is the Luba 5000 all wheel drive. Uh, these tires are slanted, uh, the treads are. That actually helps it turn. And um, it does it very well. Now you can tell this to, to turn on a dime and it'll just turn right around itself. Or you can tell it to do like a three point turning. The difference would be if you kept on doing a turn around in one spot, you would end up um, making little rings in the yard. With the three point, you're not using the tires to actually uh, do the turning as much. So it's less hard on the grass. So let's go ahead and continue assembling this. Do read the manual completely. It is very, very informative and it's well written. Now on this, you actually have these two, there's a set of buttons that you can push in and they take out these chart or these grabbers. And that is how, if you look at it, you'll have a light up top, no light on the bottom. You always want the light on top. So, I think I got a print in there. To it. And it's not coming out. So I'm going to say I got it in there pretty good. First time I done that, I had on another one, I had not got in all the way, ran it around the yard a couple of times, and it come up without any bumper. So I realized, okay, I just didn't have it in all the way. I was amazed at. All right, we're back. Now. I don't want to lose any of my material here, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back together while I have a chance.
I believe it's 90 degrees today, so it's a warm one. These are your safeties. If you're going to be uh, flipping this over or doing anything, highly recommend that you don't just shut it off. You pull these. This will make sure that it is dead and it will not uh, run on you. And the last thing you want to do is have your fingers in those blades and have it turned on. So, and they just gave you a second one because. You know what you're going to do. You're going to set it on soften, turn around, go clean soften, or come back another day to finish up the job, and you're going to forget where you put it. So they gave you a second one just so people like me uh, can continue to mow the yard. All right. Let's see what's in these boxes. charge station off to the side as you see Luba and we'll see what's in kit accessory kit A This is for your RTK if you're going to mount it against a right onto a pole or wall or something. It'll, it, they gave you a little pattern so you can pull out, pull out where the holes are and do a drill of the holes. Uh, this looks like it's actually those studs for uh, putting it on the wall let's just see yes that's what it is you get one two one two three four and four anchors And those are very sturdy anchors, so it should hold up pretty good. These little rings. Let's see what this is. This is your hardware for mounting uh, the stations you got one okay you got one two three four five screws six screws these six screws are used As you can see, you have one, two, three, four, five holes. And these screws will go down in there. I guess they gave you a sixth one just in case you broke one or you lost one. All right, you got some anchors. We're holding down four of them. 
uh, some hardware for uh, I believe these are all for the poles you have one two three four these screws here I believe are the ones that actually is used with use with your RTK. You can see you have one, two, three, four, and you got four holes there. This would go like this, and then these ones with the little blue thread locks on there, they would go into these four holes. Now you can assemble this, and put it on the pole. And that will work. Or you can get and not use these four bolts and that back piece. And you can use these go in there drill your holes into your wall and use the anchors so they thought pretty hard on what what you needed to get this going all right these are little round discs and there's some anchors somewhere else, apparently not in this box, and they are used with that mat. This mat will, once you get down on the grass, you will put that onto over top of that and put the anchors down through, and that will hold it. And so supposedly help you to prevent it from digging a hole in your yard because it uses infrared to find Let's see if we'll turn this around real quick <laughs> On the back side, you have this little window down here, and that is your infrared. And on top of this, you have the same kind of window right there. And Luba will turn around and find that target, and that will guide it up to the two copper plates there to make contact with these two copper uh things sticking out now these are movable so we can all right every so often because of dirt and uh, just the environment your window on the back will get dirty or the window on the, on the charge station will get dirty and you'll have to clean them uh, a good indication of that is this thing just going around and around in front of it, but never docking. Uh, you clean the windows, and it ought to see the charge station and should back guide itself right into it. Now, once you get into the charge station, uh, there's a green light on top of the charge station right here, and that will start to flash. If it's if this is home and it's lined up, you could tell the wheels are centered on that thing, and it's up against it 
uh, up against these stops. These are tire stops. If it's up against that and they're centered between the two, or be, uh, the tires are centered to this thing, then, and that green light's not flashing, chances are either these metal contacts or those metal contacts got some kind of debris on them. Uh, again, you just wipe them off and you're good to go again. But those are some maintenance things you do have to take care of. Now, this is the power supply for the charging station. As you can see, cable is pretty big. So you bring it in 120 volts because it's US. Uh, if you're overseas, it's probably 240. But you can mount this on wall. Uh, it'll probably be best to to do that. And then there should be a cord in their box. We'll find out. And it'll go from here to the charging station. Okay. So let's open up. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you do have plastic one. This one here is for these. Uh, if you use a drill on it, chances are you're going to spin them. So take your time. You don't have to do it once, hopefully. Uh, now for these ones, so putting that together, you have this owl wrench. And that's to install the RTK either to the wall or to the pole. These little things are for the poles and they're to hold the cable from the battery charger for the RTK or not battery charger, the power supply for the RTK to the pole. And it just keeps everything looking nice. So you just don't have this wire just hanging out there blowing in the wind. Like I said, this is the antenna for the RTK. One of the things I found out over years of doing things so you don't cross that, just go backwards on, on the threads and you should feel it pop in. Well, this one I'm not going to feel. Okay, I'll go the other direction. Huh? All right, make a liar out of me. Okay, I turned it backwards till I feel it go click, and I turned it forward. And that's your antenna for your RTK. Mm. Ah. We we're opening up. Oh, one last Allen wrench is this small one. This is for your blades underneath. Okay, this fits inside the blade so you can change the razor blades or rotate them. You got you actually have four surfaces that you can use. To cut the grass with so you don't have to throw those out right away you know when they get all on one corner just flip them over and then flip them over again so you get all four sides used up i think that's a pretty neat idea Now, put this off to the side, and we'll take a look at the next 
This is accessory kit P. Accessory kit B has the spikes that work with these little things and they hold down this mat. So, mat, retainer plate, and, and retaining spikes. Now, in this box, we have the power supply. This power supply is smaller than this one, and this is for the RTK. Now you have two cords here. One cord, I believe, is to use the RTK uh, mounted on the charging station. The other one is to have the RTK well, let's see. Actually, this bigger cable, I'm wrong about that. This bigger cable was actually got the bigger end. So it's made to go with your uh, power supply, and it will connect up. And this is the cord from your power supply to your charging station. Uh, you probably get not quite sure how many meters that is, but uh, I had a, a good distance away. So, all right. Next one. This cable. Yes, this is the shorter of the two. You got a long one and a short one. The short one from from the back. Inside there. You have two connectors, one the power connector from the charging power supply, and the other one is the connector for this to go to your RTK if you choose to use it that way. Uh, hot and sweat keeps running live. So we have those cables. Oh. And they give you extra blades and extra screws. So you should get quite a bit of life out of this. I'm not sure you're going to need to have blades before the warranty goes out. Uh, find out. All right. That's bringing us to the last one. This is Accessory Kit C. Accessory Kit C. All right. These are the poles for the R2K if you choose to use them. Uh, on one side, it's got a thread, big thread, and that'll screw into this part. As such. The other end, this one's a flat end. That will be the side that you would be putting this on, and it'll be up towards the sky, so water won't be sitting inside here and allowing mosquitoes to uh, have a home. On the other end, you see it's a small hole, and that's where this piece will screw in. Okay. 
So there you have it. No. One, two, three. All right. So that is everything in the box. I'm going to end now. In the next video, we'll be me putting it together and uh, getting it ready to mow. So thank you very much. This is uh, No Dog Licks. And I'll have to tell you a story about that, how that came about. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there will be more to come. Please subscribe. Ring the bell. Uh, I'm reading a dummy book on YouTube, so don't know all the ins and outs yet, but over time, hopefully, uh, I'll be able to make some good videos for you and keep you very entertained. Bye.